right, guys, welcome back to another M Creator Lore video. Today, what we're going to be working on is a couple things, uh, mainly to do with the yield for the crop. Uh, the other stuff requires more advanced um, uh, mechanics and stuff for the seasons and for the uh, temperature. So we will work on that in a future video, but I figure you, most of you are probably getting bored of the rice crop by now. So we're going to move on to something a little bit different, something with more mechanics and stuff like that uh, after this video. So this episode. All right. So uh, one of the things that we needed to do was we needed to go ahead and get the... Um, the yield setup. So there's a few different factors, but um, uh, there's the soil composition. I, I think we still have to set that up for the yield and uh, the yellow basically will be parts that will give a bonus. Well, uh, not a bonus, but like a, uh, a half of a bonus where the green will be a higher bonus. So the next thing that I needed to do was work on the script. I had to actually find where all the variables and stuff were assigned. I don't actually have a running list for all the variables that I'm using. So um, some mods I do, some mods I don't. It depends if I'm in the process of updating it or whatever. So basically I want to know if the soil composition is right in the green part and if there is a little bit of a leeway between the two, right? You don't want it fully um, in water, obviously, but it does require a lot of water. So it's a left dead round where that little middle part was for the green. Uh, so these are the block states. Uh, we don't need to really worry about that at the moment. Uh, what we need to worry about is the soil composition. I had to figure out where uh, it handled all the soil composition and stuff like that. And then I remembered that it was probably under the breaking properties for the um, the actual, um, what do you call it, like the uh dropping so i did find it <laughs> took a took a little while to actually find it but i did find it and um then i was just basically going ahead and i wanted to figure out um some methods of basically redoing this entire thing because right now it's on a random um basically based on the score and though we could use the score a little bit to our advantage it's not exactly what we need for the entire thing so like for example i want to make sure that we give a bonus yield not just um a yield where it will give us a certain amount so uh basically what rather than have it um be regardless of you know the soil composition there will be a more of a set amount that will be given and then there will be a bonus if the conditions are met. And I think that will probably be the best way to approach this uh, scenario. Uh, that way um, people can strive to get more seeds and stuff rather than worrying about, you know, not getting any back. So obviously there's certain conditions where it would not give any seeds back, like when the plant dies in the final stage so that would be a thing to consider as well um other things that we want to focus on is like the the percentage so right now i'm just setting up the variables to get the uh percent and then what i'm doing is i'm basically assigning different values of those um variables to give a bonus uh number that will add together at the end of the script so basically what we'll do is we'll take all these conditions into um, basically consideration and then we'll basically go ahead and make a system where it will automatically know when to give the amount using some math. So one of the things that I wanted to do with this, this is the soil, um, basically the soil condition, like the soil uh, composition. So what we need to uh, do with this one is make a range uh, between, I believe, the yellow and we need a range between the, or pardon me, the, the green. We need the green for the range and then we can specify each value for the, um, the yellow and then anything other than that, which would be an else statement, would be zero. So that's basically how I'm going to approach this particular issue. Uh, basically, it will allow us to set the range for the the green part and then we'll know exactly what part is that and then what we can do is we can specify in an exact value um, with the 
value that we're producing there now um basically what i set was the five in the thing else it will be zero so basically any of the red that isn't specified or that is not specified it will be zero so that's basically what i did i just needed to update the variables so i just removed it and then um undid and then the other thing is this fer fertility so we needed fertility for the uh, value as well so I'm thinking we'll probably have to use something very similar to the um, the other one that we just made so I think I duplicated that and then brought it down now I think I changed this up a little bit so it was basically testing if it was above like half of the percent of the fertility so anything that was uh, lower than the half percent I basically let it uh, count as zero so there was that little buffer so we don't actually need the well maybe I went ahead and with the I can't remember it was a couple days ago when I recorded this uh, so basically I, I guess what I did was I made a few different conditions for the thing though I thought I ended up going with just like a 50% thing later on because it was a little hard to break this up into smaller conditions like for just a smaller percentage so because you know the 14 it's like an odd number to work with you could do twos but then it doesn't really make sense because then you have all these different conditions and stuff like that so I ended up pretty sure that I ended up just basically specifying the like 50% or something like that and then um, going ahead and setting the rest to zero so basically that was that part um, I still needed the repeater and then there was that last couple few other ones the pH level now the pH level um, I was going to adjust to make it speed up the plant growth uh, this was an optional thing that I wanted to do but I I did try it a, a, a couple times like I actually stayed in game awake for the entire cycle and I couldn't get the plant to actually grow so what I ended up doing was eventually adding the pH level to this uh, math equation that I'm working on right now which adds uh, the entire um, script to basically calculate the um, what do you call it so by by default what we want is one seed to always basically drop so what I needed to figure out was the uh, how to convert this into a math equation that would basically benefit the percent that we just added to the script above so the I think it's just called called score that we have to add it to now I also want a random chance of additional seed basically growing so basically between uh, zero and one will be a random chance that another seed will be uh, generated in this first stage so the second stage should give more crops uh, but generally we want to multiply and then add multiply by the score divided by a hundred and that will get you a percentage of how many seeds so uh, basically what we're doing is we're going ahead and just adding a percent so if we calculate this um, by, I think I did that wrong, uh, 1 times 400, and then we get 400, right? And then if we divide it by 4, then we get 4 seeds. So basically that will work when we do all this math equation. And then we are basically adding at the end uh, additional uh, 0 to 1 seed, which we can basically generate. So hopefully that script will be convertible. Now, I just wanted to see if there was like a... 75% or something like that so do like 250 um, divided by 100 and then you can see that it'll be half a seed so we also need to make sure that this number is rounded down uh, this is important because uh, if we just set it to round then it will go either up or down but if we set it down to round down then it will always make sure that it's a solid number um, I thought we could technically use both but then it would be unpredictable so 
Uh, basically, that's what I'm going with is just rounding down. Now, the growth mechanics, like I said before, I, I did try to implement something that would be a little bit more predictable. Well, unpredictable, I guess, because it was only growing at a certain period of time and it was just a nightmare to actually work with. So I did roll back the changes I made in this particular procedure. Um, I ended up trying to make it so it was going to uh, grow at a, a random value of time. But the way that I set it up, I wasn't so sure. I think what we would have had to do was specify additional uh, time periods for the crop to grow. So that would have been a little bit more difficult because we would have had to adjust the the one in that particular script. And I'm, I wasn't really sure how to do that at this very moment. So um, I just ended up trying to adjust the mod value, which didn't really work too well to begin with. And sleeping didn't even grow the crops, which was really weird. But um, basically long term, what I ended up doing was I, I basically just uh, added the pH level to this. And uh, what I wanted to do was get the pH level if it's between a certain value. Um, so basically, 14 divided by 2 is something like 7 or something like that. But um, basically what I wanted to do was make sure that the value was uh, set between a set value and then change the mod value. Again, this didn't work uh, for my uh, tests and stuff, but I wanted to break it up into so many procedures that it would actually allow us to give a particular value based on that. And I was thinking that it would grow the plant, faster but it turned out it didn't which is kind of unfortunate <laughs> but yeah so this is basically me just um messing around with the procedure i did leave the um the variable called time in the place and then i just basically set the variable at the top there um under a uh, what do you call it on server side so it would basically go ahead and uh, be synchronized rather than having the same value multiple times. It just made sense to keep it in since we adjusted it. So that was something I guess I made changes to this particular document, but or this particular procedure. But um, overall, this pretty much didn't work. Um, I I might actually show that it might it didn't work, but I'm not sure if I did or not. We'll find out really soon. So uh, the other thing that I wanted to do was work on basically getting some of these other things set up. I needed to figure out, uh, I actually honestly don't know what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> I'm trying to just go through a bunch of procedures. So, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, basically, because we have the growth the yield mechanics now set up, I wanted to see if I can't get the... Um, the weeds and the rock generation to happen over on the when the crop is actually harvested that way it's a little easier to manage and uh, it does allow more yields to uh, between the harvests and stuff like that um, and it makes sense because if you were to try to till the land or remove the, the soil and stuff like that then uh, the plant's going to be in the way with the hitbox, right? So it's easier to make sure that you have the the crops and stuff like that for the or the weeds and the stones to generate after you've harvested it. So basically, when I'm I'm making the script that will go ahead and uh, generate after or basically when the block is broken. Uh, by the player and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run a script for this condition and we're going to specify the location uh, down below so we basically did that for both of the procedures we needed one for the stone and one for the other one I'm leaving the other ones as they are uh, they will generate every morning so every morning it will update but I, I thought the weeds would probably be best to kind of adjust we'll see how it turns out if not we'll bring it back the way it was but um figured that would just be something to try see how the mechanics work and i actually didn't mind how it turned out so uh we'll, we might end up keeping it and you have to think like it only happens when you break the crop so 
um, it will update the thing. And then we needed additional two extra procedures here uh, to basically call those procedures that we had there. So that was important to get that script set up as well. So we're just adding it to the, I believe the update tick. So, or when the block is broken, that's the one that we were doing. And then I wanted to adjust this a little bit more. I wanted to get from like zero or two to three seeds with the additional one plus the bonus. So you can get more seeds, which will in, in turn give you more rice. So again, this was basically the test that I took when I uh, wanted to see if the crops would actually grow and it took all, all day. So it didn't actually work at all. So um, if anything, it set the uh, time to for it to grow before you wake up. So it wasn't really effective whatsoever. Though I did notice the grass is still growing, which is great. Uh, like the um, the weeds itself, so that's good. And there's a few other issues that I noticed later on uh, when I was clearing out. I, I needed something to do, so I was just making more room for the uh, for building and stuff like that around the base. I did some terrain work around the base, but I did notice the grass specifically wasn't growing. Um, when I was doing that, but it, the dirt was turning to, or the grass was turning to dirt, but not the other way around. There's also some other weird things happening, like the, when I'm right clicking on the block, it doesn't seem to right click the, or swing the main hand item. So we'll have to see if we can't fix that in a future video, but uh, I might do that off camera. I need to figure out what right click event that it's running and set that all up. It shouldn't be too hard to do for a quick fix. It's just like literally one thing, but I needed to go ahead and uh, test to see how the uh, setting up the uh, fertilizer and the um, what was it, the pH level using quicklime would be. And I just noticed that the method of the, doing this is going to be a lot harder for all like a large crop field. So we might want to make a block that will allow us to uh, automate, automate that process. Uh, we can put it somewhere in the center of the field or somewhere off to the center or something like that. So we can basically go ahead and uh, spread the um, quicklime more evenly and uh, we might be able to use less of it as well so we'll see if we can't figure something out in the near future for that uh, you know some extra mechanics might be good so basically what I was doing was uh, setting up that pH level to be part of the yield um, value and this is basically what I was doing right in this part here so I was just making sure that the yield value was the same as the same percent and we were good to go basically so just needed to make sure that the procedures were all set up and then we could go ahead and make sure that this value is set up as well so on this one I needed to make sure that the value was two and then we could just drop that in right there and then it should be all set up um, basically went in game I think and tested shortly after but then basically what I did was again just leave the variable in at 24,000. So when we sleep, it will work. All right, so that's pretty much it. There isn't anything too much other than that. There was a few different things. Um, again, I, I posted an announcement on my channel uh, about this, but uh, if you're using the material block, chances are that your workspace is probably not working uh, at like it was because um, the material block was removed from Mojang for, well, not the material block, but the support for the testing for the material of the block was removed by Mojang in 1.20. Uh, this workspace is currently on 1.20, but um, I had to come up with a solution for adding testing for error. So I'm basically creating a Minecraft tag that will test for error, and then we can fix the grass up because basically what it's going to do is it's going to put a false statement on your procedure and it's going to kind of break your mechanics so uh now what should happen is it should grow but outside of that if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below write the video and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out